I wanted to scrap some coffee. So in this video, I'm going to show you some different options for your acetate on your page, and most of them will be on your uh, B and I uh, pieces. So I'm going to show you the first option. So in the first page, we've made the acetate in our flap in the I piece, and for this option, I'm going to make it in the B piece. So we start with our piece B with the two score lines and our tape on the dented side and we are going to turn it over and draw a frame on the bumpy side. So uh, one inch on the sides with the score line from the cut edge and on the two sides without a score line you will go half an inch. And then you can cut out that frame. So I'm speeding up the video here a little bit because in the first video I've showed you uh, step by step how you can make the acetate window. So here I'm just going a little bit quicker. And I'm, again I'm going to place my tape on both my cardstock and my acetate. So I'm just placing it around the perimeter of the window. So in the cutting guide I give you um, measurements and I'm also for your acetate and now there are several acetate options so I just called it acetate option and then give you the measurement for the acetate and if there are several acetate options I would give them a different name so this is the frame acetate frame option for your B piece. So when you place it, you carefully burnish on your tape. And then you attach it just like we did in the first video. So I'm tapering the half inch flaps here, but it's not really necessary. So you can, yeah, you don't really have to do this actually. So pull towards the bumpy side. Burnish. And then this we are going to place on top of piece A and again piece A is a square piece so it doesn't really matter on what, what side you're placing it as long as one of your edges of piece B is lined up with an edge of piece A. And this will be your binding page or your tunnel page. And now you have that window in your large pocket. So then for the flap on this page, I won't be doing the acetate it's just going to be solid so i am making that um, angle in here so again on the bumpy side of this piece i'm drawing my thick marks one and three quarters from my score line on the short sides and on the bottom i'm going two and a quarter inwards from the uh, left and right bottom corner and again one and three quarters from the score line and then we can cut away. I'm just lining up the pencil marks that I've made on my paper trimmer and cut in that angle. T 
taper the half inch flap. Tapers on the dented side. And then we can attach it. So the We've turned it around on this page. Line it up nicely with the edge of piece A, the back on piece A. So this is what we've got. And here I show you again how we did it on the first page, so that was the other way around. And of course, that's your third option, you can combine these two options. So you have acetate in both your pocket and your closing flap. And I've prepared that already, and this is what that would look like. So there's a lot of acetate here. And then I also have the third option. That I'm calling my frameless acetate option and that's this so you have your frame when it's closed half an inch around the page but your pocket will have an acetate edge and your flap will have an acetate edge so I will show you as well how you make this option so in the cutting guide the acetate measurements for this will be named the frameless acetate option so for piece B, again, same thing, two score lines, tape on the dented side, fold over to the bumpy side and draw a frame, but this time you draw your line on both sides with the score line, an inch from the cut edge and on the bottom, half an inch from the cut edge and on the top you don't do anything, you are just going to make a U shape. So we are uh, cutting from the cut edge. And then on your pencil marks, of course, on your lines. And then this is all that's left. And that big piece that I cut out, I don't throw it away. I just save it. I can use it for something else. So then we are going to place our tape on three sides. And we are going to place our tape on the acetate also on three sides only. So you leave one longer side free from tape. And then when we place the acetate, we are carefully going to line up the side without tape with that, uh, both the inch on the top and the bottom from this view. So your, your edge is, is a continuous uh, edge. And then carefully burnish. And then the attachment again is the same on top of piece A. And here you do want to have that the edge with the frame, with the half inch frame, lining up with the edge of piece A. So that's how you are going to place it. And then for your piece I, again here your acetate measurement is a little bit different. So again that's called the frameless acetate option. 
and you are going to make those pencil marks again on the bumpy side at that one and three quarters on the shorter side and the two and a quarter on the bottom and then you are going to uh, draw your half inch frame on the shorter sides and an inch on the side with the score line and you connect your pencil marks that we just made on the measurements and then you are going to cut away the inner piece so uh, when I'm done cutting you will see uh, how it looks and hopefully it's a little bit more clear on what you need to do so at this point I was also uh, really had to think about the process on what was the best way of going here so you could you could cut away this whole angled piece at once actually but I uh, I didn't and that's fine as well of course really thinking like okay <laughs> can I cut this away or not and but I decided to uh, leave it for a sec just remove that middle part first and like always I have to clean up the corners This is how it looks and then I realized yes you can just cut that angle completely up to the cut edge so you can just remove it you can do it at once if you want don't throw away that uh, inner piece that we've just uh, cut out to so the big piece you need it So I am going to place my tape on the acetate and again for this flap you want to place it on your acetate only. Don't place it on your cardstock because you want to have that little bit of black cardstock showing. You don't want to see any tape after you're done with your project. So you can place it on one longer side and on both the short sides. And then you need to place that inner piece back where it came from. You can use some removable tape to keep it in place. That would be very handy actually. And then we are going to use it to line it up the acetate where we want it. So I'm removing the tape backing. And I'm just figuring out what is the best uh, direction for me to work in. And I almost went wrong here because you don't want to have the tape on that side on the long edge you want to have it on the other side so and then you are going to line up your edge without the tape with the bottom of that center piece and of course try to center it bottom and top and then you can uh, place this piece in your uh, paper trimmer Just leave the centerpiece in there for a second and then you are um, lining up your uh, edge of the cardstock with your paper trimmer on where you're going to cut and then you will cut that acetate in your angle so for me this was the easiest way to go on this piece
and then when we've done that we can remove that center piece and you'll have your flap with an acetate edge so again I'm tapering at half inch flap and then we can uh, place it on our page now for this if you go for this look it can be pretty hard to come up with a closure because you have all that acetate so what I eventually did is I made a belly band on top of the big pocket uh, and I did it in the way that I'm going to show you in a sec for the for another uh, for another placement but uh, I have put the measurements for that belly band in uh, the cutting guide so you can place a belly band completely out of cardstock but you can also make it out of acetate and I've did it with the acetate so uh, yeah I've placed the belly band and then I could uh, place a photo mat under the belly band and on top of your closing flap so that will keep it in place you can see that in my uh, final project here maybe I will show it uh, I also have to make a video for the cover I think so yeah as soon as I'm able to show you I will show you I just uh, decided on that when I was uh, decorating the page so here's the belly band option so when we go to the front of piece uh, page A uh, on the first page we did this and we placed that H piece on top and on the on the other page I'm going to leave the H piece out and what I'm showing you here is what I was trying to explain in the first video like when you place your top flap over the bottom flap you will have overlapping with your belly band and then when you try to uh, place something behind the belly bands then you will bump up against that bottom flap if you place that on top of your top flap so I didn't like it and I've decided to use two E pieces and that's what I'm going to do right here on this page so I'm leaving the H piece out and I'm making the belly band pieces out of acetate so I give you the measurements in the cutting guide as well they are slightly under four and a quarter and I made some cardstock pieces that are three quarters by three quarters and I've scored at half an inch then I've placed uh, on the bumpy side I've placed tape on the small section so you will have a section that's a quarter inch and on the half inch one I've placed on the dented side some double sided tape so I'm just going to get my acetate remove the uh, small tape and place the acetate on top of there where I'm still able to see my score line you don't want to place it over the score line and you will do that uh, for both your acetate pieces on one side only at this stage so remove that small tape that's on the bumpy side and place your acetate on top of it and don't go over your score line and try to line up the edges of course and this is the technique that I've also used for the belly band on top of that big uh, acetate B pocket so there we go and then we have two more uh, pieces of that cardstock that are three quarters by three quarters so just like I did with the other belly bands with the cardstock belly bands I'm going to fold on my second score line and I'm going to make the pencil mark uh, one and a quarter from the folded edge so now I remove the tape on the half inch side and a little bit of tape overhang so let's clean that up and I'm using that pencil mark to place that belly band 
on the flat. Burnish it. And then we are going to get another piece of that 3 quarter by 3 quarter inch cardstock. Tape is exactly the same as on the other pieces. And I'm going to place that half inch. And then line that up with my pencil mark. This is just the easiest way to go for me at least. And also this is why it's important to cut your acetate slightly under the four and a quarter so it fits in between your score lines. Remove the tape on the small side, on the quarter inch side. Line up your acetate and then fold it over so it sticks on your acetate. And then you have an acetate belly band with a quarter uh, inch of cardstock on your sides. So we're going to do the same thing here. I've made that pencil marks again. I'll just show you one more time. And then you just place that little piece of cardstock first on your piece. And uh, for the other belly band that I made on top of the B piece, you made these pieces of cardstock 7 eighths of an inch by an inch. And then you score it half an inch and then you place your 3 inch side on the frame of your uh, B piece. And you'll have your half inch showing. That's so you can cover it up with your pattern paper. So when we've done that, we can um, go to the uh, front of piece A and you just place it as we did on the first page. So I'm going to center it by making a pencil mark one inch from my cut edge. And I just do that on bottom and top. But again, most important is that they will line up together. So now you fold on your half inch score line. And you place the first piece. Well, I just started at the bottom, but these pieces are exactly the same, so it doesn't really matter. And then the other piece. And then you will see that you still have a little overlapping of the two pieces, but it's like, I think it was like a quarter of an inch. And I just like that look better, personally. But if you do want to have the F piece, then I suggest you put the F piece on the bottom, the larger piece on the bottom. So now by placing a photo mat behind your two belly bands um, you will have a closure and I have a scrap piece here but I think it's just a little too big. It fits but it's not really easy. So let's get something else. And so this will function as your closure. So we leave the H piece out. Then finally I wanted to show you that I've made that pocket, piece L, uh, with the acetate, but you can also make it without the acetate. And on the inside you've made that belly band with the acetate pocket on top, but you can also leave that out. So eventually I did that on the pages where I had a lot of acetate on my B and I pieces. I left the belly band out and I just played around with the paper. So in that way I've created uh, four pages with all of them have a slightly different look uh, although the construction is the same for every page so you can go and see what you like from these options and create your own pages so thank you for watching